Hey guys, it's Amanda here, Creative Gardener. Now, do you know what this tree, potential tree, is? Some of you may, by looking at it. I've had it for about, um, how long have I had it for? How long have I had you for, eh? Hmm? About six months? Um, somebody gave me a cutting. You can see the ants got some action going on in there. But it is a noni, a noni tree. Some people say so. This would be that there. That um, they actually get a lot bigger. Um, so I'm not sure. I wasn't expecting it to um, have the fruit just yet, but I think once the uh, rainy season starts, then this tree, which likes a lot of water, um, or a reasonable amount, is gonna get bigger. So what I've been doing is coming out and watering this um, of an evening. I didn't do it today because of the rain, but I'm sure it's kind of grown in with just a uh, uh, the a li the little bits of rain that we've been having every now and again. Um, but I'm really pleased that I've got a noni tree, and um, you can. It's supposed to boost the immune system, among other things. Um, I've only seen them when they're really big, but you can decide how big you want a thing to grow. That was one of the one of my early lessons in terms of growing, is that you can decide, and you know you have to keep on top of it, just like I have to keep on top of my Mexican sunflower span in the garden, and I do spend a lot of time actually, you know, cutting back. Um, I find and. Um, the more you cut back, so like, you know, now we've got the um, petals are falling off. I cut that back. I try to get it before it kind of runs to seed because um, then you get the seeds all over the place. But then I just drop it in place and trying to build up a kind of, it's supposed to be like a living hedge. Um, anyway, back to the noni. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Some say it smells like old cheese or I don't know there's a something to do with old cheese and dirty socks <laughs> smelly dirty cheesy socks um, but you can ferment the fruit and apparently the leaves as well come here come here it's a dog the leaves have uh, properties as well look at the flowers Aren't they pretty really tiny flowers but yeah, these, uh, I, I have to check to sit, check that, you know, when you see the ants hovering around a plant, it's usually because there's either a pest that they're kind of protecting or, you know, I hope that they haven't built their nest. Um, I find that where there's a plant been left unattended, they can often, um, you know, make a nest like they've done in my um, elephant ears plant. Um, and then once, just as well I hadn't gone to lift it, because when I, I started watering it, and they all started coming out and attacking and moving their little babies. Anyway, so the leaves are kind of, these ones aren't really looking as healthy as they could, I'm not sure. So maybe it does need a bit more water. Okay, so I wanted to show you that. That's another plant that I'm growing that, you know, I think over time I'll be able to harvest the fruits and you can eat the fruits you know once it ripens and uh, in other parts of the world it's eaten as is or used in I was gonna say used in stews but I can't remember if that's what they said anyway so I'm gonna go for now I just wanted to show you that and for you to see a noni plant a baby noni tree I mean you might have done already but here's my baby noni tree it's welcome to, to the family <laughs> okay take care for now